All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechav Kudash, double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, with charity. This is going to be a quick lesson, Lord willing, edifying straight to the point. On this incident just took place today, you have a, a bus in Florida flip killing eight and over 40 injured. Uh, a, a bus filled with migrants. And they, they said farmers, you know, Jake, mostly Jake, coming to, to work on farms to make money, right? So this is clearly the, the, the judgment of the Lord going forth on our people and a lot of our people are being snared into Babylon that's not born here they're being drawn here because if if you're an Israelite and you're in America and you're not of the elect you're gonna you're gonna get put to death eventually one way or another right and we understand this this land is set for great, great future judgments. So a lot of these people coming through the border is is because the Lord is 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 snaring them. Alright? Because there there are people. They're Jake. And we understand the Lord has a bone to pick with Israel. We're going into the time of Jacob's trouble. And if you're an Israelite, a so-called black, Latino, and Native American here in America, you're either of the Lord's elect or you're one of the, the people of the Lord that he has rejected and he has a, a, a big issue with. Lord willing, we're of that elect. That's why we're doing this, this work. So if, you, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American and you hear this truth, you hear about your true nationality, your heritage as an Israelite. America is Babylon the Great. The Lord is only coming back to save Israelites. You got to call on his true name, which is Yahweh. That's the name of the Father. Right? Yahweh Shai being the name of the Son. You have to repent and actually take this truth seriously because the Lord is sending out judgments every day. All right, as a matter of fact, let me get this. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So the Lord is, is sending out hits. Every day he has a list, a hit list that he gives to the angels. And the angels perform, perform it. So you had eight people on this list currently from this most recent event today with this, this bus that was set up in the spirit. That was preordained to happen. And it's just one of the many crazy things going on in the earth every day. Every, every day as we get closer, it's, it's more or less, it's, it's less natural normal accidents and, and and normal mistakes and things happening where people die and bad things happen but as we get closer and closer to the end it's going to be more and more higher level judgments more unexplainable things more random seemingly acts of violence and and people lashing out Because it's, it's the spirits going out. These these deaf angels going out. Just watch the movie. Uh, Final the watch the Final Destination series. That's you know the first couple ones. The first few ones were the best, right? I think uh, Final uh, Part Two. That's my favorite. I believe everybody's favorite. But um, right. Every morning he brings us judgment to light. So every day, it's it's things already happen that's planned. And this is speaking on the Northern Kingdom, 
which the scriptures refer to as uh, Israel and sometimes could be referred to as Ephraim because Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. And this is what the book of Hosea, the ninth chapter says. It's Hosea 9 and 13 getting to the point. It says, Ephraim, as I saw, Tyrus is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. All right. So starting with the so-called Puerto Ricans on down, which is all the so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, you're of the, the northern kingdom. And you got a lot of Jake. That's from these different islands and different parts of Central America, South America that's coming through the border, right? And and their land, they're gonna come to find out that, that it was better where they where they came from. And over here, because America is is be, has already become a third world country. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. It's gonna do a, a as we get closer and closer to the end, it's gonna uh, have an even more rapid decline. And you see what's happening right now is these jakes are being systematically pulled into America by the elites so that they can use them for cheap labor. They want to they wanna exterminate and get rid of a lot of so-called blacks and, and they want to pull in a lot of these in order to kingdom that's do the job cheaper. And, and you know. So they just, they, they're being used. Are people coming over here with that promise, illusion of better life? And a lot of them is just said to be judged here, man. And that's just the truth. Okay. There was something else I wanted to get, but it's escaping my mind right now. Where I get that. I'll end off with this. Because we said that uh, they, they, they are getting caught in a snare. This is Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse twelve. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. See that? So, the Lord has traps set for men. The same way men have traps for animals, the Lord has traps for men. And, and people don't even see it coming. And that's how the Lord works. That's why we have to fear the Lord. Because he can set us up in a trap. Talking to myself first. So, as the the job of the prophets is to warn you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to repent, so that you can escape the the coming judgments, so that you don't get caught into an evil net, because an evil time is is coming, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, bad times, horrible times, worse than we ever experienced as as. Well, on the you know what they call the human race, right? In human history, so that's just something I wanted to speak on through the spirit. Lord willing, was that a fine? With that, I don't give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakudash, and to the next one, Shalom.